Hello, I'm Josie Dom and today I am being interviewed by the lovely Daisy who wants to be an author herself or actually she has already had two stories published um, in anthologies so I'm really honoured to be interviewed by Daisy. Hello Daisy. Hello. Do you have some questions for me? You go ahead. The animals in your book were very inspiring. My favourites were the little ladybirds playing baseball and the robins helping out with the gate. What inspired you to make this wonderful book? Thank you. Um, well, it started with my daughter who told me that sloths were good swimmers. And then we were giggling about which animals would be good at the sports that we all do as humans. Um, and then once we'd had um, a bit of a giggle about that, I, I just kind of thought, oh, maybe that will be fun to turn into a poem. So I started writing a poem and it was going quite well. So then I said, let's find out what all the different sports in the Olympics are and match an animal to each sport. So that was kind of how it began. What other fun do you think the animals will get up to while humans are away? That's a good question. So in the real world, we had a lot of animals coming into towns and cities um, while people were staying at home. So um, I don't know if you saw that, but there was deer coming into cities and there was um, some goats coming into towns in Wales and all over the world, actually. Um, but in fantasy, you know, anything could happen. So um, hopefully I will be able to write some more books about animals doing crazy, crazy things while humans are not about. I live near Paynton Zoo and love to see the two rhinos. Which sport would suit them the best? That's a good one because I, I don't have any rhinos in my book, do I? Um, so I want to create the Winter Animal Olympics next. So that's all about, have you heard of the Winter Olympics? And they do different sports like skiing and ice hockey. I think ice hockey. I think ice hockey would be a good sport for rhinos. <laughs> Do you think they'd be good at that? We'll have to work on that. <laughs> How did you come up with all the rhyming words? Yeah, I have a really simple system for rhyming words. I let me get let me get my book and try and think of an example. Um, so for the, uh, the sheep playing hockey, the sheep trooped onto the hockey field. So that was my first line. And I just, I just make a list of words that rhyme with field and then see if I can work the story into that word. So the next line is two teams of 11 all looking so chilled and because field and chilled rhyme that worked and then I had to explain why they were chilled so they're wearing if you can see that they are wearing sunglasses and it does say that in the in the next words they'd chosen their colors and had their shades on no chance it's they'd take in case the sun shone so yeah, really simple. I I know what one line is going to end with. I find a word that is going to rhyme with it, and then I make the story come into the the word that I need it to rhyme with. So field tilled. I could have perhaps used the word tilled, um, build, and it it wouldn't. I couldn't perhaps think of anything that would make the story progress onto those words. So chilled it was. Does that, does that make any sense? Why did you choose the meerkats to be the judges? 
Oh, um, because, <laughs> because my children used to play a game which we invented called meerkats and they had to um, stand very still to do, to play that game like meerkats do in the wild. And, um, and I just kind of like the thought of the meerkat standing very still to judge all the competitions um, because you've got to be really observant um, as a judge at an athletics competition. And meerkats, the reason they're standing still in the wild is that there's a meerkat that's on lookout and he or she is standing still in case of any predators. And um, yeah, the, just the, uh, the connection there amused me. If you could be one of the animals in the book, which would you be and why? I think I would like to be one of the peacocks playing badminton um, because I like the, um, I like the way that they decorate the shuttlecock with their tail feathers. But if I can't be a peacock, I would be a mole trampolining. <laughs> Will there really be a Winter Animal Olympics book next? I really hope there will. It's going to take a lot of work to do. Um, first of all, I will need to research to find out all the different sports that are competed at the Winter Olympics. Um, and then I will need to work out which animals are best suited. So I've got the rhinos playing ice hockey. Thank you for that. Um, and then it's coming up with the story and the rhyming words for it. Um, and once all of that is done, um, I will need to ask Sarah Lou to illustrate it for me. So it won't be next winter, but hopefully it will be one day. Which other books have you written? Oh, I've written, um, can you see these behind me? I've written Lum. And this is about a fluff ball. This guy here. And he's a bit scary, but he, um, the children in the book teach him, there they are. They teach him how to make friends because it's, the reason he was scaring everybody is because he didn't have anybody to play with. And then in this book, Lum's mum, he's missing his mum. So he goes on quest to find her. And he has a few adventures on the way. But then he does get lost. But again, the children in the book come to, they look for him. And then they help him find his mum. And then right at the end, he gets a hug with his mum. And that's what he's been missing. My brother, who is five, loves rhinos more than anyone in the whole world. Can he interview you about your new rhino book? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Yes, my rhino book is called Brave Brian. And... I need to find an illustrator and I need to do some work to get that published, but I would love to hear from your brother. What's his name? Noah. Noah. Okay. So, yes, I will make plans with your mum. Thank you. Bye. I'm joined today by Meredith, who is being a cat and is ready to ask me some questions. Hello, Meredith. Hello. What do you like the best about being an author? Well, the best thing for me about being an author is being able to use my imagination and make up silly things, which then I can turn into stories. <laughs> Did you always want to be an author? No, I, I didn't. I always enjoyed writing when I was a child. Um, but I didn't even consider that being an author was something people did really obviously I read a lot of books so it should have been obvious yeah. but um no I, I didn't want to be an author 
Um, and then when I had my children, I started writing again. Um, and then I eventually published a book. Hmm. What inspires you the most about story writing? <laughs> Um, so I'm in, I think I'm inspired the most by just how um, I, en I enjoy uh, rhyming and make, yeah. making up rhymes but I so I think that inspires me when I get a good rhyme I'm inspired to do some more yeah. um, and see, seeing the book seeing the words turned into pictures by an illustrator is very inspiring as well what type of books do you read? Oh, well, I read all types of books. I enjoy reading um, adventure books and family sagas. And yeah. I like reading... Um, oh, well, when, when somebody writes about themselves. Oh, autobiographies. I like reading those and um, I read a lot of children's books as well and borrow those from my daughter. So she's age 12. So some of her books are for children and some of her books are young adult and I really enjoy those as well. Yeah, I like reading fiction and not all fiction and adventures and mysteries. I like reading all the types of books too. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's good, isn't do it? They, do they inspire you to write? Well, not necessarily, but just lately, I'm reading a book at the moment which is based on Alice in Wonderland, but it's, oh. it's kind of brought up to date and it's it's very modern. Um, and while I'm reading that, I'm kind of reading it more as an author than as a reader. So I'm looking into it and, and I'm really impressed with the dialogue in it. Um, mm. Because dialogue, when people talk to each other, in a written book um, is is the thing that I find the hardest to do. So I'm trying to yeah. learn. <laughs> Did you have to research all the different sports in the Olympics to decide which sports to use in Animal Olympics? I did, yes. Um, it's, not, it's not difficult research, so that was good because um, research is not necessarily a fun part of the writing. Um, yeah. <laughs> So it's quite easy to find out which sports are in the Olympics. And then I did whittle them down a bit. Um, so, for instance, there's, um, I think, three or four martial arts. And I just put them all together into one verse for the martial arts. Yeah. How did you decide which animal did which sport? Well, my daughter helped me um, with that. And so did my son and my husband. We, we were having chats about it and I kind of yeah. like to use what I would um what I would think is logical but other people might not so for instance yeah. the um the giraffes were doing are doing the um basketball because they can reach the basket yeah. and <laughs> even <laughs> though they can't hold the ball you know that part of the logic has uh, disappeared but the yeah. fact that they're tall yeah and Head <laughs> See. Um, yeah so it was just it was just and then my son came up with the idea that narwhals would do the fencing because obviously they've got their own sword yeah. Um, yeah so just kind of a a strange type of author logic is what I used to decide how long did it take to write Animal Olympics it took me about a month to write it all I couldn't write it in that amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like the most about writing Animal Olympics? Um, I, it, going back to the rhymes again, I really enjoyed finding the scenarios that the animals were in and then working out the, the words and the, the rhyming side of it to, to make the uh, the the rhyme fit the story and fit the scenario. It was, it was a good <laughs> challenge. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Which verse in the book was the hardest to make rhyme? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think one of the hardest ones was orienteering. 
Yeah, I found that one quite tricky. I went back and forth on that one. <laughs> um, which Olympic sport is your favourite? Oh, uh, gymnastics is my favourite one to watch. Yeah, I like gymnastics too. Are there any Olympic sports that you would like to try out for yourself? Um, what would I like to try? I, I quite, I'd quite like to do... I mean, there's, there's a lot of the sports that I've done, obviously not at Olympic level, but um, of the ones I haven't done, I think, um, do you know what? I, I may have done all of them at some stage or other in my life, but I think I'd probably like to return to trampolining. I like trampolining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's good fun. I'd like to be actually good at it rather than just bouncing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> if you were an animal, what animal would you be and what sport would you play? Oh, um, well, do you know, I've, al I've always thought that I'd like to be a duck. <laughs> <laughs> but mainly because when I used to um, walk to work, I'd see the duck sitting by the riverside and I'd think that, that seems quite a nice life doesn't it you know sitting by the riverside as opposed to having to to rush to work um but as i now feel that perhaps ducks are not very active i don't know what sport they do have you got any ideas for a sport that a duck would do diving diving yeah yeah they'd, they'd be good at that swimming shaking their feet <laughs> what was the last one shaking their feet shaking their feet <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a new sport <laughs> okay, so i'd like to be a duck and i think i would like to do shot put <laughs> do you have any plans for stories in the future i do i've got lots of stories that i've written that i'm waiting to um get organized and, and get made into have have them illustrated and made into books but my latest idea is to write the winter anim i can't even say it today winter animal olympics have you heard of the winter olympics so they mm. do no so that's held every four years as well and they have things like skiing and ice skating oh yeah that ice is. hockey so i am um, I want to come up with some good good ideas for animals and all of the rhymes about how that would pan out. That sounds good. Um, is how many books have you written and have been published? Oh well, obviously I've got them here. I'll show you. So I've got Animal Olympics, and <laughs> <laughs> you brought yours, and also I've got Lum. Yeah. So he was my first book. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then his second story is Lum's mum. And oh, she's here as well. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Meredith. And um, so they're the ones I've published. And then I've got a story called Brave Brian. And that's about a rhino, about some children that rescue a rhino. Um, I've got a series of books based on nursery rhymes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, or a series of stories. They're not books yet. I've got, and I've got a story called Princess Perfect. <laughs> um, I've got another one about Big Bad Barry and See-Through Tom. The story doesn't have a name yet, but I quite like that one. And what else is there? There's Oh, I've forgotten my little, I've got a little story about a mouse and I've forgotten his name. Yeah. But he's, he meets an alien. What about Mary the mouse? <laughs> yeah, it's a really long name and I'm trying to remember what I called him. Uh, sorry, I'll have to let you know. <laughs> um, that's all my questions. Um... Well, thank you very much, Meredith.